Hey everyone, welcome to lesson four of how to become a really great non-technical guitar player. So just to recap the first three lessons, what did we learn? One, you gotta really like your guitar. Two, stay on the dots when you get in trouble. They're your best friend. Right? Lesson three, go with what you know. Develop your chords over time. Slowly build your chords by incorporating other things that you can know. That will allow you to be rescued at times when you don't know what to play. Go with what you know, stay on the dots, like your guitar. On lesson uh, four, what it's going to consist of is something we haven't even played or talked about yet, and that's the whole other side of the board. So what this board really is, this side of the guitar, is just a higher pitch version of this. So what that means, importantly, is that anything you do down here, you can replicate by doing the same chord up here. So sometimes everyone always wonders, well, how do those guitarists do those crazy screaming solos up here? Well, it's really not as hard as you think, because all you have to do is just remember that it's just the same as what this is, except it looks a little smaller, it's a little more disorienting, and it's a little more difficult when you're just starting to play to be able to maneuver your fingers around here. But if you want to incorporate that into your playing before you really have, you know, a lot of time to experiment with it, just remember that any chord you do here will work up there. So you can make a whole song out of just going back and forth, really. Stay on the dots. Just the same. So when you're trying to make your songs more sophisticated but you don't necessarily know a lot of chords, try shifting back and forth a little more as you play and get used to doing that motion with your, your hand. As you come to adjust to doing that sort of thing, you will find that you become a lot faster over time uh, playing, which opens up more possibilities for playing. The other thing that you can also do is get one of these. This is a capo. So Pink is really the best color that you can get, but they do come in a lot of other colors. But just by adding this onto your guitar, you can change the tuning and the sound. And it can sound a lot more crazier, it can sound more for your, your voice and for your key. It can really make a song that you might play without a capo sound like an entirely different new song. And it's another way that you can explore your creativity without necessarily knowing a lot of technicality or a lot of really chords to play. So just to show you here, I'll just do the exact same thing that I was doing before and see how different it sounds. I've put it on number two. Stay on the dots. Now just one note before we go. Why that is a little more difficult than it might seem playing up the board when there's a capo is that when you put the capo on two, what that means is this whole side of the board shifts up. So what I like to remember is that if the capo is on an odd number, such as one, three, or five, your dots are no longer the dots, but they're not the dots because you've moved the board. But if you put capo on two and something even, you can play it just as you would without it. But you may not be able at first to do a lot of crazy things when you have the capo because you just might get disoriented by the shift that it creates on the guitar. But keep working on it, keep practicing, and I promise it just gets better over time. Thanks everyone.